Hallelujah. It's a beautiful evening to be in church. Good morning wherever you may be watching across the globe. Good afternoon, good evening wherever you are. Um, something just before we go into praying. When we go to scriptures, we understand that each time God wanted to communicate something important, he always drew his men closer to himself. We saw Moses go to the mountain. Jesus, our perfect example. Paul was caught up. John the beloved and a lot of other patriarchs. Tonight, God's word will be coming to us strongly, and we need to gear up our spirits to receive all the Lord will have for us. In the next few minutes, I'd like you to stretch your heart, focus on Jesus tonight, and speak in other tongues with the understanding of your communication with the Spirit of God tonight. Speak in other tongues tonight. Let it flow from the depth of your being. Let it flow from the depth of your being. Let it flow from the depth of your being. Shaprataka sombrate kasi gabayata. Merada basombrati shakte kele mondo zipre ketele gediasta. Manto sa deleketi agarato sabrata kandesh. Esi amanta sabrataka bayandesh. Liga bako sabrada lika pande. Inti kataga lato zige. Le protika ramando sabrataka bande. Ento zabalana mashakta. Reglete su. Prete kele monde, imbrondon zabala makonde, irosoto pekotosia, arida basondo basakte, nento zabila mantaya, aswaliato pokosia, le prete kele borokoto, eshaka dabakoto, iroto kopele kotondo, isokoto kobalataya, arada basanta kaba, endosi kotondo lope, e grita bandolosti, isabrata kande, irreketele monde. Erada basakta kamba mando sombrondo basante ingroto komba latanga andige lokondo lopeye erega de bataya asako toko baradeya ila mama mama dosa erati balamba radeya mansondo basakte regle toko balaba babaye shana mama masondo bakaya misoro boko sekte erati balaba sota ishali ando sike mendo Ndo supre tekele boya Rada baba shakta Igroto supre le tekoya Minta bako teka La gratu sopa kite Sene manta sabaya Maradi bala sote Ikonda basakte Rede bala makoya Rada baba ye Sanda basanta Lada baya labate Sele menene kalabara Le regede le braba bayata Regleto zuke regede baya Izusu latanga Ero Roto poko to shikte le grete koto shikte le baya mandata sonto baya shana mama sonto baye rete bala susula ye shande bo shuke le monte le groto sokolo baye shana makoro boko ya mato 
Kotokolo Proko Popo Koto, Zele de de Preketele Gadea, Mando do 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 Brada da Bata, Rada da da Basakta, Regadele Mama Macondo, Ligondo Sakto Kobande, Minta Baba Bayele Badie, Erre de Brava Bade Godosta, Manson Proto Combayalata, Regade Baba Kandaya, Arada Babaye, Simbroto Sukta, Manatusta Baya, Nere de Bocotoya, Ligrato Sombra Keteya, Manta Branda Bata, Rada de Bacta Caba, Manto Saga Lacote, Mingrute Sombra Te, Rede Bacusacte, Igrondo Sacabaya, Manta Tababa Bayeta, Jana Mama Sondo Prataya, Mindo Broto do Sacte, Rida Baba Santa Lamande, Messige Rebacto, Recte Sucte, Recte Sucte, Recte Sucte, Recte Sekele Boya, Miriga Bacote, Egrito Cobadige, Masikele Monte, I Broto to Sute, I Lada Baba Bayita, I Suprete Kendele Bacte Sicte, Manda Tataya, Sana Mama Sondo Baya, begin to give him thanks, I Soro do Bocoto Koya, Manda Tataya, Arada Dadaya, Sani Macondo, Merene Macunde, Sombroto Suprate Bacte, Mara Masakta, Mara Masakta, Mara Masakte, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Another Thursday to give glory in his presence. Shout another hallelujah. Hey. He's worthy. He's a big God. Big, 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 big God, mighty God, Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Big, big God, big, big God, mighty God, mighty God, Jesus, Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Big, 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 big God, big, 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 mighty God, Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Big, big, Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Oh, big, big God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Big, big, big God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Big, 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 big God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is a Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. 
Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the kingdom come, Spirit of the truth, breathe on us tonight, reveal the kingdom to us. spirit of truth and your assignment is to guide us into all truth therefore tonight again we ask that you do what you have been sent to do as you guide us into all truth lift up your two hands every kingdom envoy in the house and speaking thoughts I demand that the Holy Ghost performs his assignment tonight as he opens me up to the role that he came to play concerning the government of the kingdom Eshina na 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 yata da balakuto. Ira peya tata te de balakala kedos. Ibra kapara gatamba da yata da yados. Rege da balatoli anda da da balabada. Rege tamba la breya kada brada bada bara. Inda di anto de temba da tin de penda kabaye. Shida de lele buroto te te te. Shida de lele brada balabala kate ata ta 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 do. Shigara gaya da gaya da gaya da gala bala bala dudos. In pen 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 tum pan ta ta la kate. A kwante ne mende kada badi atana badus. Review yourself. No one knows you better than you. <laughs> Review yourself to us tonight. No one knows you better than you. Review yourself to us tonight. Speed of truth. Just as that scripture said guide us into all truth because you will not speak of yourself 
you will speak on behalf of the one that sent you and you show us things to come thank you Holy Spirit tonight we celebrate you because we are persuaded that the best of you shall be communicated to us again tonight in Jesus name alright friends good evening everyone in the name of the Lord you are welcome what a time of praise time of worship in the presence of the Lord glory to God in the highest please you may be seated tonight there's so much depth that God will love to communicate to us and at the same time we need to pray this is the last of the fullness flow fellowship for the month of May in the month where God had been taking us through the full teachings on kingdom application alignment and allegiance tonight just as it was communicated to us we want to look at the role of the governor that's the role of the Holy Spirit this is quite deep this is quite strong this is quite profound in fact by the time the Holy Ghost began to communicate so much things about this I said whoa this is not good for a time like this the reason is because the strength of it we may not be able to touch but I believe just has been he has been taking us through some levels of journeys into the depth of his word concerning the kingdom yet again this will trigger something for every one of us and, and I demand every one of us to take this personal you can't live the life of the kingdom without the Holy Spirit there's nothing you can do about that is the representative of the government of the kingdom we are living in is 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 the presence of the absent king <laughs> write that down is the presence of the absent king that's what I I, 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 I was communicated to by the spirit is the presence of the absent king so you must understand that 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 he, he, he owns the rulership the exclusive right of the rulership is with him and he will, he, he will communicate it to as many and he will empower as many that understands him that desires to know him you know we've, we've 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 heard about the holy ghost in various dimensions but tonight i'm believing god that another understanding of what the holy ghost can do and how he operates and administrates the kingdom and who he is will be communicated to us in another dimension as we long for god more i can only ask you to be hungry tonight to be desirous this is the best god can offer us jesus said he's the promise of the father you know what that means jesus was not the promise of the father jesus said the holy ghost himself is the promise of the father that is the highest heaven can give a man the whole idea of the redemption walk was actually about the holy ghost everything that jesus did jesus came for he suffered on the cross was all culminated in the holy ghost hey so the time we have we, we I, I just need you to be desired you see as you're watching me on the screen if there's no hunger in you you can't draw that's how the holy ghost operates it does not say blessed the day hunger and they shall be filled you can't draw if there's no if there's no empty bucket there's no need for tap to flow remember there's no restriction in the spirit so you can tap into something strong the inside of god can only be communicated through me because i'm his messenger if you're hungry to hear it holy ghost Help these precious ones today. You may be seated. Let me sit. Let, let's let's flow. Let's flow, please. I'm going to be fast because there's so much, and I still want us to pray. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we, 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 and of course, it just has to be less than two hours, so we can we can get back to our various places. Those of us gathering together, and then those of us that just need to prepare for um, the following day, Friday morning, and then we will get ourselves set. Is that okay? Glory to God. <laughs> now let me begin this way. The operations of the earth began in Genesis chapter 1 chapter 2. Man was handed over a kingdom. Man was in full operation of the earth. Suddenly God told man, man, I've just created a garden. 
It's an epitome of my presence and a full replication of heaven. It's called Eden. Genesis chapter 2, I'm going to say, and then verse 15, the Bible said, God placed man in that garden and told him to dress it and keep it. And began to tell him, listen, everything you can partake of, but this particular one, verse 17, this particular one, don't partake of, the day you partake of it, you shall surely die. You shall surely what, sir? Die. Now, hear me, ladies and gentlemen, did man die? Mm, someone is asking a question. Yes, he did. Surely die means surely die. Is it that God that lied or something is wrong? But God is not a liar. Someone shout hallelujah. Romans chapter 3 and verse 4. The Bible says God cannot lie. God cannot. It's not possible. He's not a liar. He's not in his functionality. Number chapter 23. Verse 19. He's not a man that should lie. Neither the son of man that should repent. So from that we can begin to understand that something happened to man and what happened to man was the departure of the holy spirit which culminated in the departure of the kingdom because the holy spirit is the spirit of the kingdom so when man fell as it were what left man was the holy ghost who is the power to live who is the influence to rule who is the governing authority to dominate? So when the Holy Ghost left, life of the Spirit left, kingdom left, automatically relationship was severed. And then you must now appreciate that the only reason why God will not say the promise should be because it was to restore what was lost true or false that is very clear sir heaven was not the promise of the father jesus was not the promise of the father the holy ghost was the promise of the father now let me help you to do some writings maybe it will help you so so why did the king come to restore the governor let's take it from there why did the king come to restore the governor Flow with me, friends. I would love to give you more strength, but I need us to pray. Why did the king come to restore the government? Number one, the loss of the king, just a, a summary of what I've said before, so that will give you one strength. The loss of the king is the motivation for the redemptive plan of God. The loss of the king, of the governor, please, of the governor, take note of that, was the motivation. The king was not lost. Someone said, I agree now. And that's the truth. God was not lost. Are you with me, somebody? It was a spirit that was making man function as God that was lost. The day that thou eat it, thou shalt surely die. And like I've said, after that man still lived 900 and something years. You know what that meant? So it was a spirit that died, that left, that departed, back to where it came from. Now, maybe this number two will help you. So when Adam disobeyed God, which led to his death, the king, God himself, recalled the Holy Ghost from the earth. He recalled him from the earth. Why? Because man had already began to take over the government of his own life. Man was living his own life. So there was no need for the governor of the government of heaven to still be in operation. Okay. Oh, oh, oh thank you, Jesus. Now, look up everybody now, yet again, colonial masters. <laughs> when suddenly Nigeria declared herself to be independent, what happened? The governor left of the of great britain left nigeria so independence as it were is rebellion i'm not a big boy i want to live my life let me do my thing myself you can't be controlling me so the declaration of independence of man 
was actually rebellion against the government of the kingdom of God. And God would not strive with man, so the, the governor left. <laughs> so when man began to rule himself, guess what happened, sir? The first thing you could see in the expression of man's rule over himself was self. This shocked me, and I'm going to show you something very strong. Self. Self was expressed immediately man began to rule. Sir, do you know it was when man fell that man, man said I for the first time. Adam never said I. Eve never said I. Immediately they fell. I what became the order of the day. In fact, the, the Bible said um, in Genesis chapter 2 verse 25, they were naked, they were not ashamed. But when they fell in Genesis chapter 3, verse 7, Genesis chapter 3, verse 7, I mean, you could see the first thing that they did, the Bible said for themselves, was to go ahead and sow. When they saw that their eyes were open, that they knew that they were naked, ladies and gentlemen, look, look at this, friends. The question is this Who told them they were naked? The second question is this. Didn't they know they have been naked all this while? They were not ashamed because they were still under a government of the kingdom. Suddenly when they fell, they, their eyes opened. They saw that they were naked. They've been naked since. There's nothing new about their nakedness. It wasn't that suddenly they, they had the fruit and suddenly their dress just ripped off. No, sir. They've been naked. You know what happened, sir? You know, let, let, me show, let me show you what you didn't understand. Immediately man fell self. Self-awareness. Nakedness. Self. Shame. Self. Accusation. It's not me. It's the wife that you gave to me. Self. Self. I was afraid. Self. Meaning, I, I, I want to be protected. Self. Before then, there was nothing that suggested that. Verse 10. And then suddenly, when God had asked Abe, a Adam, where have you been? What's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, again and again, I've said it before in the season of life, it was not a question to begin to know where he is. It's a question to bring him to an awareness of his foolishness. I mean, where can you hide from God? Maybe where are thou? Oh, AD really. Where thou? <laughs> it's a suddenly I discovered that, 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 and then I sold something for myself. Self. God never had the plan for man to be self conscious. But his fall brought him into self. Now look at the response that Adam made with God. Verse 10. This will help you. I, I saw, sir, this is so profound. You can now see who entered into Adam. You can now see the government that came into Adam. Remember, Satan fell. And why did he fall? I, 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 I. Don't go there. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 14 and 15. I, I, I. And God said, you are going down. Now hear this, sir. Look at, look at this. And Adam said, he said, I, heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself self. that is why I've told you again and again selfishness cannot survive the kingdom I keep saying it sir I just know you can't go far this one that all your attention is about your family you can't truly be part of the kingdom and be selfish. I'm talking to someone. We're looking at the role of the governor. One of the things that happens, I see, when you are truly part of this kingdom, under the governorship of the, of the, of the governor of the Holy Ghost, listen to me, self dies. I pray for myself. I pray for myself. I consider myself. I want it myself. I did this for myself. I'm keeping this for myself. I steal myself. May God give you understanding. Self, sir. Self. Self. 
when man began to rule himself self by the next chapter sir self okay beautiful you know you know oh no leave that because i'm going to deviate if i go there you know beautiful did you see the first that those were expressions by chapter four when man was ruling himself self Cain killed abel self So I can you tell me that you are part of the kingdom? You are born again and you are still selfly, selfishly mad. Selfishly crazy. You are just self-centered. All you want is yourself. You just want to be happy and know you don't care how anybody else feels. When you are not pleased, the whole world is in trouble. But suddenly, when, when, when you are okay, you want everything to happen. It doesn't happen that way, sir. Self. I don't want to go there. It's, it's too deep for today. Number three, therefore. So this made the government of able to make a promise. And that promise was the return of the governor. And for me, that's the most important promise that I ever made to the earth. That is the return of the governor. Heaven never promised us heaven. God never said he was returning heaven. Do you understand, sir? God said he was returning what was taken away. The spirit left man. A man surely died. Just as God promised man that he would die. In that Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. And that death led, led to the resurrection of the self of man. He began to see things from his own eye. To the point that the one he called his bone of his bone. And of he accused her. So domestic violence has started in Genesis chapter 2, chapter 3. He accused her. So the promise had just had to be the return of who was lost and what was lost, which was the kingdom influence under the oppression and the administration of the governor of the kingdom. Number four, friends, the resultant effect, therefore, of the redemptive work was the return of the Holy Spirit, the return of the governor. The res resultant effect of the redemptive work was the return of the governor. Everything that Jesus did, everything that Jesus came for, everything that Jesus suffered, everything that Jesus said was all about him, was to culminate in him. That's why Jesus himself was the one that said, hey, hey. It's not me that is the ultimate. It's the promise of the Father that is the ultimate. Say, so now that I'm going, I'm going to release the promise of the Father to you. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John said it in various dimensions, but I'm, go I'm, going to, I'm going to stay on Luke for now. Maybe, maybe later on again, we'll now go back to John and we'll go back to Matthew. But Luke, Luke said, Luke 24, Jesus said, uh, don't go anywhere until verse 49 now he said until the promise of the father is sent to you you can't afford it you can't afford to miss it you can't afford to bang it the promise of the father is the ultimate by Acts chapter 1 at the break of his ascension the bible said jesus christ came up and then began to show himself hey god began to show himself verse 3 with many infallible proofs and religious people have said that it was manifestation of his power. That's not true. Many infallible proofs after his passion by the honest I'm trying to say, he showed himself alive. What was he doing? He was showing himself to his disciples that I didn't, I didn't stay in the grave. He kept showing himself intermittently. I'm alive. I'm alive. Sir, on the, sir do you understand? Okay, give me NLT. I'm not going to go into depth of it. But give me NLT so you to understand. Go to verse 3. Please be fast. NLT. During this 40 days after his crucifixion, he appeared to the apostles from time to time. From when? So it was no miracle. It was no signs and wonders. Stop it. Do you understand? Sir, from time to time. And just to prove to them in many ways that he's actually alive. To prove to them in many ways. And then you see some people, 40 days. Um, to prove to them in many ways that he was actually alive. And he talked about the kingdom of God. What was he talking about for those 40 days? The kingdom. 
Why? You know what he was doing? Probably he was giving them a revision. He was giving them a revision because what is about to come to them, which is the promise of Father, is actually the influence of the kingdom, which is the Holy Ghost Himself. So, in a nutshell, what the what Jesus was talking about the Holy well, about the kingdom was actually the Holy Ghost He was talking about. Friends, I, I'm not happy with myself because I know that we can't go strong into this. We're going to revisit this in next Gilgal. So I will break it down into pieces. Go to the next verse. Verse 4. Once when he was eating with them, he commanded, that is, in the process of those 40 days, he kept talking about the kingdom, but there was a particular one in one of the 40 days, he, he, he commanded them, do not leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you the gift he promised. King James said, the promise of the Father, as I've told you before, verse 5. Oh, for John baptized you with water, but in a few days we'll be baptized with the Holy Ghost. So is the promise of the Father the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Are you with me, sir? The Holy Spirit is the promise of the Father, which the, is the only person that can make you live out the kingdom. Now, number five. Therefore, the promise of the Holy Ghost is the return back to the kingdom life. Return back to the kingdom life. Suddenly on that day, the next chapter of Acts chapter, two, of, of chapter 1, chapter 2. Now, the next chapter, now, suddenly on that day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost, pff, <laughs> the governor landed again. Returned again to his territory in full. Ladies and gentlemen, let me help your theology. Before then, the Holy Ghost was just upon men in the whole testament and the holy ghost never was upon two three people at the same time follow me friends i need you to get this i need you to get this please get this now get this was not upon two people at the same time jesus christ himself the incarnate of the father came and he carried the holy ghost himself but when jesus was also on the earth the holy ghost was not found in everybody so Jesus said, I need to go so that, hey, this Holy Ghost will be with you and will be in you. John 16. I need to go. If you want to enjoy Take him from verse 7. It's so deep. John 14 also from verse 12. Do you understand? You need to understand this so that you can operate in greater works. Do you understand? It's not just going to be with you. It's going to be in you. It will abide with you. I have, I am, I am, I am, I am around you. I am with you, but I'm not in you. I need someone who will be in you. Oh Jesus! I'm limited. So you know who the Holy Ghost is? The unlimited Christ. I'm limited. I'm restricted. I can't be in Jerusalem and be in Samaria at the same time. See Jesus. I can't be in Judea and be in Sidon at the same time. But I need to go. I've just finished the assignment. I've come to release him. Hey, I'm feeling something here. I'm, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Makasata. Jesus Christ got to the cross. And he began to communicate depth upon depth the things that become it of him. And the last thing that he said was, Lord, unto thy hands I commit my spirit. Luke chapter 23, verse 46. Unto thy hand I commit thy, my spirit. I think King, uh, uh, New, that's King James now. New King James said, I, I commit. Uh, King James said, comment. But the best word is to commit. So, Jesus said, unto thy hand, I, my, I, thy hand I commit to my spirit. Go back to King James. And the Bible said, he gave up the ghost. To give up means to release. To give up means to expire. What did he release? He released the Holy Ghost. Which had been trapped in him. He released the Holy Ghost. So that men can come into sonship. Men can come into the influence of the government. He released the Holy Ghost. 
That was why after his death on the cross, when he met his disciples, what did he say to them? He said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. The word receive suggests that it had been before it was Lord. Receive. Receive. John chapter 20 verse 22. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. What had been trapped in me, what I came to bring, I'm about to release. And he told them, don't go anywhere until there's a full dimension of it culminating into power. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you and you shall be my demonstrators, my witness, my messengers, ah, my, my displayers in, in all the parts of the world. In Acts chapter 2 verse 16 or verse 14 thereof, when they saw that the display of the Holy Ghost upon human beings for the first time, the Bible said they said that they are drunk. And Peter said, excuse me, excuse me, Acts chapter 2 from verse 14. The Peter said, excuse me, and we are not drunk, oh, don't think we are drunk. We are there. No, 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 no. It is not drunkenness. Is the promise that Joel himself talked about that in the last days the Lord will pour his spirit of fear that in the last days that the Lord will pour his spirit upon our flesh. Young men will begin to see vision, old men will begin to dream dreams, maids, and every young man and woman will begin to prophesy. So understand what the Holy Ghost came to do was to restore us back to our assignments, to power us to see and to do, to begin to speak life into that thing to begin to fulfill what we are sent for the promise of the father the promise of the father let me show you the role of the holy spirit so we can pray the role of the holy spirit the role of the governor oh casa tatata e cabrante costumbre di asha oh ratatatata by asha the role of this governor in our application, alignment, and allegiance to the kingdom. The assignment of the Holy Ghost in our application, alignment, and allegiance to the kingdom. You see, friends, it becomes very, very clear that we cannot do those three without the Holy Spirit. We cannot function in the kingdom without the Holy Spirit. Nothing can be of you and I without the Holy Spirit. After the Holy Spirit departed, man was attempting to operate in the administration of God, but they couldn't. Man couldn't. Man kept failing because the one that powers to do it had left. Hmm. Glory to God. Number one, the Holy Spirit, the governor, is our connector. He is the connection with heaven. Hmm. He is the connection with heaven. He is our link between the seen and the unseen. Is the intermediary of the earthly realm and the heavenly realm. Jesus said, it's expedient that I go. If I don't go, he won't come. To make you experience what you ought to experience. John chapter 16 and verse 7. The governor is the contact with the kingdom. Remember one of the things I said at the beginning is the presence of the absent king. The queen of England was dominating Great Britain. When Nigeria was a colony of Great Britain, the queen of England was not present in Nigeria. She sent a governor to Nigeria. Do you understand? To represent her. So everyone saluted and celebrated the governor. And our governor there was Lord Lugard. Everybody saw us. Is the presence of the absent king. 
So he's the connector to heaven. He's our contact man. Mm, I love that. Business people, you can understand what I mean. He's our contact man. That was why he was the first person you received when you were born again. Can you now understand this, sir? He was the first person you received when you were born again. He's our contact man. That's why Jesus said, you want to see the kingdom, you must be born of the spirit. John 3, 3. You want to see the kingdom, you must be born of the spirit. John 3, 5. So you can enter the kingdom. And then John 3, 6, he that is born of the spirit is what? Spirit is our contact man, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to God. Number two, he's the life of the kingdom. The Holy Ghost is the life of the kingdom. That's why he said when we're born again, we are born of the spirit. We have been born into the kingdom. That's what it means. We have become a citizen of the kingdom. So which makes us enjoy the life of the kingdom. John chapter 3 again. Then this time around verse 8. Because we are born of the spirit. The wind bloweth. Sata ta 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 ta. He is the life of the kingdom. Without him everything is dead. Man became dead when he left. Are you what I'm trying to say? Man became dead when he left. That's why Jesus could understand. It is the spirit that quickened it to it is not me that quicken it it is the spirit that quicken it because it's the life of the kingdom the flesh profit and nothing john chapter 6 verse 6 to me the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and their life listen to me steve even the bible is dead without the holy ghost the bible is ordinary letter that kill it without the holy ghost the letter kill it second Corinthians chapter three and verse six but the spirit give a life king james messed up the simplest you can even go to new king james you understand that it can't be small s it's capital s okay I, if i go into depth of this it won't come out can, can you see now sir Sir, sir, can I say something here without any prejudice to anybody? Don't respect any man that can quote the scripture. It doesn't mean he carries the Holy Ghost. Any dummy can quote scripture. Display of scripture, scriptural intellect doesn't mean the Holy Ghost. The letter kill it. But the spirit is one that gives is the life of the kingdom that's why i said he's the one that he, he, jesus admitted he says the one that raised me from the dead paul got it Romans chapter 8 verse 11 is the life of the kingdom nothing happens to the kingdom without him is a joy in the holy ghost Say the kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking. Righteousness. But righteousness. Alignment. Peace. Because that's the display of his kingdom. And his kingdom will be of an everlasting peace. And to him there shall be no end. And Romans chapter 14 verse 17. And joy in the Holy Ghost. He's the... Uh, number three. He's the manifestation of the kingdom. Friends, let me give you five because I, we have over 40 minutes more. I need us to pray, sir. I need us to pray. I, I, I know what God wants to do tonight. It's the manifestation of the kingdom. I promise you by the Holy Ghost. When we look, get to Gilgal, next one, we need to settle this strong. It's the manifestation. He said you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost. Then you begin to display. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. In fact, there's no kingdom without the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's the kingdom in manifestation. Ah, you guys are drunk. Say we are not drunk. It's the promise of the it's the Holy Ghost. Suddenly, signs and wonders, things began to happen through them. Acts chapter 2, verse 16 to verse 18. They had known that something had happened to these men. Ordinary men became kingdom men. Ordinary men became life-powered men. Why? 
the Holy Ghost who is the manifestation the Bible said the whole world has been groaning groaning traveling and groaning until now but when the Holy Ghost came then the Holy Ghost began to cause men. Oh, Romans chapter 8, verse 20, 21, 22. The Holy Ghost. The, men began, God, the, the whole world was waiting. We're waiting for a manifestation. But when the Holy Ghost began to move, then things began to happen. Romans chapter 8, verse 20, 21, 22. 19 said, he said, the endless of is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God, who are sons of God, men and women who are born of the spirit. For we have not received the spirit again to fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba Father, Romans chapter 8 and verse 15. It's the Holy Ghost manifesting itself number four is the operator of the kingdom works is the operator of the kingdom works you can't do greater works without him Nic nicodemus came and said excuse me um no man can do this except god be with him how come and then you see jesus response like, for you to understand Except a man be born of the spirit, he cannot operate in this. John chapter 3, verse 2. Then verse 3. Are you getting me, sir? Is the operator of the kingdom works. So nothing works without him. Nothing answers without him. Nothing results without him. Nothing is accomplished without him. Hmm. Glory to God. Jesus Christ said, hey, hey, listen, the works that I do, you will do greater works than this, uh, uh, you will do. But the issue is this, I have to go. If I don't go, you can't do it. And what was he saying? I have to go so that he can come. So your, your, your ticket to doing greater works, John 14, 12, your ticket to doing greater works is by the Holy Ghost. Thank you, oh my father. For giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done. Speaking thanks, everybody, everywhere, right now. In the lift up your voice. Because you were born for greater works. Lift up your voice. Greater works. Jesus did not lie. It has to be greater works. The works is the kingdom. Greater works than this are you do. Because he has released what was in him to us. Which is the Holy Ghost. He has freed him to operate in us. Both to will and to do of the Father's pleasure. Which is the kingdom. For the endless expectation of the creature. Is waiting for the manifestations of men and women. Who have been born of the spirit. E bando finata, regesendo finos, e juzo pradiata, e garaga da ganagaya da gaya da ha. I came for walks. E rada da da da. The Holy Ghost is in me. E bra ba ba ba. But to will and to do of His good pleasure. E da da ya da 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 ha. E break e rapa ya. As the Father sent e Jesus, He has sent me to do greater than He did. E bra ba ba. Because the Holy Ghost is in the inside of me ibrata bayata imranga badabaya the governor of this government is working in me so i administrate i manage i rule i dominate i control the affairs of the earth system in the name of jesus rabayeshina malatosta agiga de mi adadabalata isovrita imranga dabalata esho 
vrete kesto masina na vinosta ashegala gala vina parete mekosta berete tete tete te. ibraga de kate de bosha imbra baba ba. mekonte mekete igare igabraba masombre radeto igaramba imbrendete indombrengeya masoprete makarago irate ngosta melesente meredobrenia merengeteta ibraba baba ibreke shadaba thank you father number 5 therefore he is the teacher of the truth he is the teacher of the truth what's the truth again here yeah, the kingdom the bible called them the spirit of truth john 16 13 he is the teacher of the truth to guide us into the realities of the kingdom because it's a representation of heaven so he would not speak of himself whatever he hears he will speak and it will show us what lies ahead. The things to take over, the things to do for the kingdom. John 14 and verse 26. The Bible said what it does is to teach us all things. How many things? It will teach us all things. It will teach us all things. To is a teacher. To teach means to instruct for change. Write that down. To instruct for change. So what the teacher does to the student is to bring the student into the knowledge that he had known so that there can be transformation. Are you with me, somebody? That's why in school, you don't preach, you teach. Someone say, here. You don't declare. You instruct for change. And the Holy Ghost has the exclusive right to be called the teacher because he's the spirit of truth himself, the spirit of the kingdom himself. There's no one that can, could have thought better than the one that have lived the father, that knows the mind of the father, that knows the intention of the father, that knows the will of the father, that have related with the father. I'll give you five things right now. So he was operating under that capacity to bring men into truth. Oh, therefore, hear me, sir. Jesus Christ saved us. The Holy Ghost trains us. And you will agree with me. That is tougher. That's why you are saved once. But you are trained continually. Be ye transformed. By the renewing. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. By the renewing. Present continuous of your mind. Hmm. So what it does is to train us to think like our original self. Which is the way the king thinks. What it does is to train us to live the original life. Which is the life that Adam lived in the garden. What it does is to train us to do the kingdom works. Which was what Adam was doing. Which was total governance. He was in charge of every affair. <laughs> oh, it's the Holy Ghost. So he has an assignment. Salvation will be regenerated. But the life of the Spirit brings us to a lot of reformations which ultimately should culminate into transformations and when our mind is transformed that we begin to make control again we begin to govern the earth ladies and gentlemen permit me to stop here today because we need to pray if the operations of the Holy Ghost is not working in full in you and I, that means we have not yet got into to, to things. We have not taught some things. It's beyond just saying you spoke in tongues. It's beyond just saying you were born again. 
how can you be struggling to be in charge of that little assignment they gave to you how can you be struggling and then they are looking for who to substitute they substituted you they've never substituted me before ever since i knew this assignment i knew this holy ghost how can you be struggling to communicate strength with every sense of intelligence how can you be struggling to be in charge when the charger is already in you so suddenly you are discharged because you are not in charge it came to play a role sir Every kingdom person is not born to fail. He came to do something in us beyond the ordinary. That's the advantage. That's the vantage point we have above others. The Holy Spirit. Don't forget one of the thoughts of since last month. What you don't understand, you can't implement. So what I've done today is to briefly reignite. Reignite is better. To, to, to return back the fire of what the Holy Ghost can do and who he is in the operations and the administrations of the kingdom. Don't forget who you are, sir kings don't forget the counsel of heaven sir is to bring you into the fullness and the capacity of heaven on this earth and that can only happen by the help of the spirit so when you and I begin to see the reality of who he is then it begins to function accordingly. Ah, Romans chapter 8, verse 15. There's no fear in him. So we operate by rulership. For we have not received the spirit of bondage again. You know what that meant? That meant that was what was operative. We have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Don't forget what Adam said. He said immediately, I was afraid. He said, we have not received, but we have received the spirit of adoption. Which is the Holy Spirit. Whereby we can cry, Father. The source of our kingdom. And this is what that spirit does. The Bible said in verse 17. He said he has brought us to become heir and joint heirs. Look up everybody. If you are heir, I'm an heir. Suggesting two things. Son. Prince. Prince, which is a to be king. So you can admit king. So two things. King. Son. Then what do you think God has brought us into? Rulership. And that comes by the Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands to him and thank him for tonight. Rise to your feet everybody. Let's do it very smartly. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you. We give you praise. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for tonight. 
We thank you for tonight. De bratan kadat sindo kopre kadash. Mendere bo sidi bis. Masida brea kania tumbre kadam brakaba. Indo fre te 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 madista. Meroto sinama kamrendosa. We thank you for tonight. Who you've made us to be. We thank you for tonight. Who you've brought us into. We thank you for tonight. What you've empowered us for. We thank you for tonight. For the reality of the kingdom that you've exposed us to through the role of the governor who is the Holy Spirit on the behalf of the government of the kingdom of, the, of this heaven on earth makasiro basha iraga de bela prendos meke regete meke regete maria asha daila kanda iregete nede ibrange rota igera dada da imbrada yese izese koto izese prete prete makom brigadista meruto frika paya imbrande kosha thank you jesus thank you son of god thank you master thank Thank you, Holy Ghost, for what you've taught us tonight. Thank you, Father. We understand who the Holy Spirit is. Is the teacher of the truth. Is the contact. Is the manifest manifestor, a manifestation of the kingdom of God. Here with us, Masetetetepea is our link. Mekombra Gataya Ibrandeyastea Meregetentetete is the one that was sent to do greater works through us. Idembra Bayesha Barakatanda Rabaha Ezurate Mekembregeta Ibraga Dombregeto Marade Tete Ibraba Babas Ibregerete Ibragerebe Imbrangandia Imbramba Babaha Imbrangenemea Imbranda Yete Iragadamo Eregedemiata Eshinamaha Ezuso Fredia Indanabondobo Makanderadiaha Ashigayabaha Igeregatekate Ibrondo Pregerabada Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. All right. Philippians chapter 2. Let's do some praying, friends. Verse 12. I want you to be strong in praying tonight. I need you to release yourself. Under the power of the Holy Ghost, release yourself. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 said is, we need to do something, we walk out. Someone say walk out. Walk out. Uh, you know what walk out means? Yeah. You know what walk out means? Exercise. Train. Drill. Release. Look at it, say your own salvation. Not nonsense, fear, only fear and awe. Why? Because there's a force who is working in us both to will and to do is good pleasure. Is good pleasure his assignment over your life? Is good pleasure the kingdom you came to impose on the earth? For Isaiah 60, 46 verse 10 said, I declare there from the beginning and from ancient times the things are not yet done. Saying, all my counsel shall stand, I will do all my pleasure, my good pleasure. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to pray in the Holy Spirit that by the power of God, the thing that you came to do, he said it shall come to pass in the last day. Joel was the first person that saw this gleam. And then Peter repeated it. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and then Acts chapter 2 verse 16 to verse 18. He said it shall come to pass in the last days. He said I will pour my spirit upon all. How many sir? All, 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 all. 
to the point that dreams and visions are beginning to happen. Meaning, what the Holy Ghost will do is to power them to fulfill their assignment. To the point that they begin to speak words of life and begin to prophesy. Speak inspired words. Understand, sir. Jesus gave up the ghost on the cross and released what was trapped in him on you so that you can live the same thing out. He expired so that you can be inspired. Jesus' expiration, he said when it was finished, that was the same thing of, of that Luke 23 verse 46. It's now John 19, 30. That's the same expression. The Bible said Jesus Christ said it is finished and he gave up the Holy Ghost. So understand, his expiration became your own inspiration. He released the spirit that made him do what he did in you so that you can do the same and greater than he did. He released the governor back to the earth so that there can be governors through you. Now in the name of Jesus. He said, work out your salvation. The thing that have been deposited in the inside of you, bring it out. Because it is he that worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. This, I can't pray for you here. There's nothing to do, nothing to do with me here. You need to pray for yourself because you came for something. You know? You are that one we have been waiting for. You are that one that the endless expectation of the whole earth has been waiting for your manifestation. You are that one that have been delayed in now so that you can be released for such a time as this because you are relevant to our generation. Somebody lift up your voice uh, and speak in thoughts rakatanda tate erebala vanati regesent of vita ibretetete ashangaya iragato preya ibragada da 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 ibragada da da ho imbrengendelele imbrengendela gaya ibragaya shata Make a suit a latte, Ibraga Yoshkeba, Isoprete Ketenedia, Ebraka Baya, Imbroto Sata, Imbranga Dada, Imbranga Daba, Imbranga Daboto, Ibrega Regate, Ibrababa, Mecoste, Imbrote, Magronde, Mazite, Zizete, Macambrango, Jekerete, Raga Osha, Ibradaba. Igeregenos, Mastena Malaviato, Iene, Ianamia, Ianamado, Ianamana, Imanama, Imanamados, Ibrababa, Imrambabos, Imrevayata, Ragatande Tos, Isopre de Catena Catecate, Ibrababa, Meregatecate, Meregatecate. Meregetegede, Meregetegede, Menton del Tete, Isopredista, Arada Bias of Via Tambiata Mate, Maregata Viata Viera Bariatata, Esotom Vrecaten de Cate, Masombre Tecate, Ibraga Bayasta, Iragata, Imrababa, Embroto Tete, Isa Protopa, Ibra Tambias, Ibrecatete, Imbrobo, Ibrabaha, Ibrete, Macatada, Ibradaba, me comredis, me cambredos, Ibrebe, Maradis, me rotos, me redes, me guerreros, Ibraba, Ingeros, Maste, Masto, Rete, Mage, Lede, me comredis, Jacquerete, Ibrababa. I work it out. Everything trapped in the inside of me. Jesus Christ has released. It begins to find expression. It begins to find expression. In the name of Jesus. For there is this treasure. In earthen vessel. Ay, 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 that the excellency of power. Might be of, 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 of God. And not of us. In the name of Jesus. The treasure in me. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7. Is coming forth. Is coming forth. Live up your voice. That is the scripture. In the name of Jesus, there's a treasure in you. I 
Aratatata is a treasure. It's not a trash. You carry something. You carry something. You carry something. Pray with strength. You carry something. It's a solution to the decadence of the world, of the system of the world, of the operations of the world. In your own sphere of influence. Makare Kota. Igaradatata. Eshendalavatos. In industry. In commerce. In economics. In medicine, in engineering, in the business world, in ministry, in the marketing world, you carry something that the excellency of power might be of God and not you. You carry something, is a treasure with the Holy Ghost as placed in the inside of you. In that auto, so in Garagata, in Regatenias, in Geregatete, in Geregatem, in Geregatendo, in Geregatendo, and Bretetosa, Jean de Bariata, in Ragados, in Ragade, Materebea, last and opre, Mastinamba, in Garadosta, in Gerege. Mazie, Maston Brekete, Marandos, Melema. Thank you, Father. Remember what we looked at today in the part four of Kingdom Application, Alignment, and Allegiance. We looked at the role of the governor who is the Holy Spirit. Yet again, two weeks ago, I said to you, Application simply represents connection. App. Without the app, you can't really get anything done in that system. The app of a particular thing. Is that okay? There's nothing that can be done. Without the app, the YouTube app, you cannot connect to YouTube. So application represents what's a connection. Alignment represents conformity. And allegiance represents compliance. And this cannot happen without the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Conform. Connect. Cause me to be compliant. To the government of this kingdom. Until I become a full representation. Until I come to the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ unto a perfect man until I experience the fullness flow of that which I came to establish on the earth Holy Spirit connect conform and bring me to compliance of everything that the kingdom of heaven represents. Lift up your voice and declare this now. Makasata de kosuta dia meregate la katayatas radete to suta beretiti tisisi barate keraga toketa aye ya 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 meroto stonia meroto stonia la hold on hold on the Holy Ghost just showed me something he said tell them what those things you have just said he said what those things are those he said what those things you have just said tell them he said the picture they don't understand is this walking in another track staying on that wrong path the train that derails is gone the airplane that go to another route will suffer crash the car that that decide to leave the lane and go to another lane of the other opposite side who if everybody will be gone he said, all oh, the connection and the conformity and the compliance. He said, tell them the picture. That as they pray, I bring them into line. Probably, so you're not too late. To, even if you're 40 or 50 or 60. You're not too late to return back to the original manuscript of God for your life. To suddenly eat destiny jackpot. And suddenly the thing that you are being born for. Begins to dawn on you. That's why there was space. 
He said they would deem dream dreams because dream talks about the vision that actually been closed and now you are beginning to see it. But it won't stop there. He said you'll be able to prophesy so you can speak it back to life again. The deadness prophesy, man of God. I prophesy as I was commanded. And the dead bones became a living army. Are you with me, somebody? So somebody in the name of Jesus right now, pray with everything in you. Many, hear me? Listen, sir. Many have lost it. You don't even know where destiny is. Some people know what God has told them, but they are not in it. Some people know where, where God is taking them to, but stubbornness and stupidity has derailed them and comparison to another. Because your path is not my path. Don't forget. What you have been sent to do is not what I have been sent to do. Makata. Father, in the name of Jesus. Akarakata. I conform and I align. I, I, I comply. And I apply. I, I begin to enjoy conformity. I begin to enjoy connectivity. Now lift up your voice. Because the Holy Ghost is working in you. To begin to realign you. There will be disconnections right now. By the power of God, some of us must be disconnected to places, to things, to people. In the name of Jesus, there will be disconnections right now. Everything and everyone and every place that is not in consonance or in accord with your destiny, there will be disconnection right now. Somebody pray. Ayakosha. That is it, sir. Thank you, Lord. There's this connection. You are being disconnected. You know, when the wrong wire is connected to the wrong thing, it will spark. But when it's brought right, there will be flow. There will be electricity. There will be result of the effect of the flow. Somebody, Marata Dayata, there is a disconnection. Whatever, wherever, no matter the age, Irata Dadobea, Icaraco Stenaha, Mekeregatanada, the Holy Ghost is doing his work, is doing his work in the inside of you. Regatanaya, you will not be confused again. You will not walk another man's walk. You will not do another man's assignment. You will not walk in another man's path. Ekantayatayato. Igaraka. Igarato. Marates. Zuzu. Mendios. Imbrakanda. Barite Vritosta. Igarango. Meni. 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 Meri. Jegi. Masteno. Berita. Itandaya. Marakapa. Esata. Identon Predia. Idanta. Barate. Makayadagayadaka. Idatosta. Igandayata. Irregatete. Imbrandabaya. Iganderos. Berate tetete. Imbradayata is taking me out of the path that is not mine into the path he has ordained for me. I'm confirming. I'm confirming. Someone is confirming. Someone is connecting right. Oh, Sataya Tata. Isataya. Someone has become compliant. To the kingdom. Of the government of heaven. Esobrega. Irata, Ikere, Marate, Genta Tata Tabaya. Shuffle the hands. Make this confession with me. The Holy Ghost was not given to us for fun. It's beyond speaking in tongues. Oh, thank you, Lord. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Victor Luadam Larry. By the spirit of God, which is the governor of the kingdom, I begin to function according to everyone's template. Before the foundation of the earth, there was what he has separated me for. And in the name of Jesus, as God's masterpiece, with a master plan, by the help of the Holy Ghost, who is the master of the operations of the earth, concerning the kingdom of God on this earth, I therefore begins to enjoy compliance. I enjoy.
connectivity. I enjoy conformity in the name of Jesus. From today, I will not misbehave. I will not misuse. I will not misabuse everything that God had deposited in me. I decree from today in the name of Jesus, my path is guided by the Holy Ghost. My thought is conformed to the Holy Ghost. My mind is transformed to the frequency of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I begin to govern because the governor is working in me. The kingdom is operative in the inside of me. From today, I take my space. I fulfill my assignment. I accomplish my task. In the name of Jesus, I begin to dominate territories and influence nations. My voice shall be heard in the name of Jesus. I allow the Holy Ghost in me to begin to walk. I will not hinder him so that he can do the good pleasure of the Lord which had been separated from me before I was born. I decree and I announce that to Today, the governor is ruling in my affairs in the name of Jesus. I am connected to the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. I'm living the life of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. I came for greater works. That is what I will do in the name of Jesus. I came to do what Jesus had finished when he finished he released the inspiration in me therefore I'm inspired to do and see and operate and function better than Jesus today I begin to dream dreams today I begin to see visions today I begin to wrought wonders today I am prophesying because I'm speaking forth therefore in the name of Jesus everything is coming into place for me I'm not in disorder again my life is in order I'm organized my kingdom has come Lift up your two hands and pray the Holy Ghost. Ragata tata yatambayash. I can stop it. Kaya. Merento. Yashata. Thank you, Father. Jesus will give you praise. Jesus will give you praise. Jesus will give you praise. Now let me minister to you, pure kingdom. Mark chapter 16, from verse 15 to verse 18. Jesus said. Go. Go. And demonstrate the kingdom. Verse 16 said, anyone that believes in what you say, what you came to do, that person is contacting the same grace. He will be baptized. He will escape. Verse 17 said, these are the demonstrations. He said, you see, in my name, you will cast out devils. So when, when you are ready to demonstrate the kingdom, that's what that's when devil, the devil becomes a non-factor. The devil is, you will cast out devils. He said, you operate in the language of the kingdom. Not just speaking in tongues, but there is a code. You get to the office, there is a language you communicate to them. And they will catch it. Things begins to work. Can we do this? Can we do this? Because there is a language you are speaking forth. It's a kingdom opposing spirit. You are opposing and imposing. Opposing every contrary spirit and imposing the right spirit. And in verse 18, he said, this is another demonstration of the kingdom. He said, you take up serpents. The thing they said cannot be, you begin to do. The thing they said has troubled and had failed others, it does not fail you. The thing they said has destroyed others, you take up serpents, it will not hurt you. You drink deadly things, nothing. You are under a guarantee. Suddenly, understand, you are not just going to be the one that is healed, but you'll be laying hands on the sick and they will recover. This is the fullness of the manifesto of pure kingdom. Therefore, stretch forth your hands right now for everyone sick in the body. Yet again, 
Because the kingdom had been communicated to you. As the Father sent Jesus, so as he sent me. I therefore declare that sickness is gone. Amen. Whatever it is, anything sick, your health, your body, your spirit, your mind, your marriage, your finances, your children, your businesses, whatever is sick in your life, I command recovery now! It is well with you. Oh, two governments cannot operate in the same territory. The kingdom has come. Every other government of darkness is over. This is why again the devil is not a factor over your life. If you believe it, shout the loudest. Amen! Amen. Lift up your two hands and declare, I am free! free. Shout it, the kingdom has come unto me! Congratulations, God be with you and bless you. Give Jesus a big hand of praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Please, you may be seated right now. Let's honor God with our seed, whatever we came to bless God with tonight. Remember again, your tithe is your tax. Your offering is your investment. Lift it up to him. Father, thank you for the privilege to give to you. We celebrate you for life. Receive this from us. Thank you, Father, for the knowledge you have communicated to us. We leave it out by the governor of this, of this kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. All right? Glory to God. Just three days' time, the last day of the month of May. I thought someone is excited about that. <laughs> Glory to God. That the first of May, Sunday, awesome time. God has been faithful. Can you see God in your life? He had kept you, kept your family, kept all that concerns you. I just celebrate God for you. Congratulations, my brother and my sister. I rejoice. I rejoice over you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. God bless you. God keep you. Then on Sunday by 8 a.m., Kingdom Government. Kingdom Government, friends for you, sir. I mean, it's not optional. Believe me, sir. You may think that the education you learned in school is relevant. It's not. When it's got to do with, remember the king's vision. How we saw that there is, it, it was the hand of God that brought the rock. And the rock became a mountain. Talking about the saints of God, according to what Daniel saw. Sir, it will be God's hand upon your life. And don't forget, God said, I will reject you because you reject knowledge. God cannot use you. Except you know. So get yourself set. by looking at kingship, sonship mindset. 8 a.m. to 9.30 for yet another strong knowledge it's not a service it's a teaching so use your head it's for your good sir settle with it and be absorbed with the reality of god's word and then blessed be god by 10 a.m which is now the life in fullness service where do we stand religion or kingdom that for me is another classic it's a blower to god be praised and glory rest your feet everybody let's close father we thank you for today we celebrate you thank you thank you lord thank you for teaching us thank you for helping us thank you for the privilege of gathering together in your name we leave out the reality of what we have learned today thank you father Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name. You know the thought as we close? Never. If you really want to operate in this kingdom, never do anything without the Holy Spirit. Some of his instructions don't make sense. So, well, I've said before, it makes sense. Never use your sense to dictate the operations of the kingdom. Remember I said the foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of men. Allow the Holy Ghost to live your life out. And you see, when you begin to live in the sincerity of this, the Holy Ghost will never there is nothing, sir. I tell you, sir, for the past three years, eight months since when Ecclesia began, there's nothing I've asked him 
concerning the step to take and decisions to make that had failed because the covenant is a deal if you are brought into the life of the kingdom self must die we saw it today sir and immediately self dies then he takes over then he becomes so jealous to ensure you don't fail you don't miss it you don't give up you are not exchange leave it out friends and you see how the holy ghost begins to help you is at work in you you will do well sir if you allow him he has a role to play jesus could not function without him you also cannot function without him is the presence of the absent king and is at work in you i love you i celebrate God for your life god keep you god bless you don't forget to always stay safe keep safe and live safe in jesus precious name father we thank you for tonight for your what you've done for us for all these precious ones in jesus precious name lift up your two hands and in the name of jesus christ you know let me let me shock you sir flow is not just an ordinary statement oh the statement of the spirit i cannot forget i didn't plan it the last day of word and power conference 30th of september i kept hearing flow 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 he said that is the covenant word he said i'm the covenant keeper i will watch over anytime you call it flow 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 into flow of life flow of help flow of sustenance that's why nobody is dead it's not prayer of man of god it's what you are declaring flow of, of escape flow of health flow of naming sir in the name of jesus as you activate this in the last fff of the month of may this flow will translate into perfection for the month of may for you lift up your voice at the count of three your loudest one two three go flow god bless you see your son they love you all bye share the link peace